Hey girls, and welcome to The Rice Effect, where we focus on the things that affect you. Now, my name is Stephanie, and I'd like to take this time out to thank each and every one of my subscribers for your continued support. And if you're new, make sure you press that red subscribe button. And while you're at it, press that notification bell and choose all, so you don't miss not another video of mine again. This video represents week nine of the Sulphur Springs Ayurvedic Hair Challenge. And today, we're going to be making an optional yet exceptional face mask that's made out of the herbal extracts and oils that we've used during the challenge so far. These ingredients have provided us with such support, nourishment, and healing through the challenge. Now from this week forward, the rest of the DIYs presented will be optional. You can either use it and keep it in your repertoire or not. It's totally up to you. But as for me, I'm going to be using them all, darling. <laughs> so let me tell you about this mask. This face mask addresses hyperpigmentation by lightening dark spots and refining your pores for camera-ready skin. The antioxidants within the face mask have anti-aging properties that aid in the increase of collagen, helps to decrease inflammation, and smooths the skin. It's a sheer piece of heaven on our earthly skin. I tell you what, to learn more about how to maneuver through the challenge, give this a watch. Then we'll make the face mask together. Now directly above, you should see the link for the playlist for the Sulphur Springs Ayurvedic Hair Challenge. This playlist will be growing week by week, and as the challenge progresses, you'll see links throughout this video with new and fresh recipes. If you don't see the links above, then you'll definitely see them in the description box, as well as the end screen of this video. If you happen to be watching the video on your television, just go to my channel, subscribe, and save the video and or playlist to watch later. And be sure to press the notification bell and choose all so that you'll always get a heads up when I post videos pertaining to the challenge and more. The Sulphur Springs Ayurveda Care Challenge started in our Facebook community at the Rice Effect with Stephanie Rice and the Sisterhood of Curls. And now we're sharing this super fun and invigorating challenge with you. So be sure to refer back to the video that introduces the challenge for more details linked above and in the description box. So please feel free to join us in the challenge. Hey, I hope that you enjoyed that and I hope that you found it useful. I just have to say before we begin that I am simply amazed and floored by the versatility of these herbal extracts that we've been using. Throughout the challenge, we've been using the same herbal extracts and oils, but in different capacities. To name a few, we've done the sulfur rinse, the edge treatment, the hair spritz, the delicious drinking tea, hair masks for strength and for moisture. We've enjoyed a nourishing tonic. And now it's time for our face mask. Let us begin. Hey curls, let's get down to business and make this amazing mask. And what better ingredient to start with than amla. In the plant kingdom, amla only comes second to the Bayesian cherry as to its potency in vitamin C. Vitamin C is a key component to the synthesis of collagen. Its antioxidant power benefits the skin by fading dark spots and protecting the skin from the sun's harsh rays. Vitamin C also protects the much needed fat pads in our face. Bamboo. The silicon bamboo provides elasticity and supports the skin as it expands and contracts and plays an integral part in the synthesis of collagen. Aloe 
Aloe's healing and soothing properties are known throughout the world. Aloe is an anti-inflammatory skin protectant that is antibacterial, antiviral, it's an antiseptic, and has some serious wound healing properties. It's great for hyperpigmentation, scars, and several forms of acne. Ginger. There are so many benefits that ginger has for the skin. It's a rejuvenator that increases circulation and helps to reduce signs of aging. Ginger also flushes out toxins, evens out the skin tone, and contains antioxidants that can reduce scars and protect the skin from UV rays. Sa Palmetto Cultivated by the indigenous people of America, saw palmetto was used as medicine for the prostate and hormonal imbalance. The essential fatty acids in saw palmetto nourish and helps the skin retain its moisture, giving the skin a healthy and supple glow. When using saw palmetto, it's very important to mash those lumps out because the saw palmetto powder is different from the rest that we're using. The rest are much lighter, but saw palmetto, because it holds so much moisture, is a heavier powder. Now we're going to transfer everything into a jar for future use. This jar contains six masks worth of powder. Each DIY session will create two fresh face masks which should be refrigerated. So let's scoop out exactly two teaspoons of the powder mix and place it into a bowl. But two exact teaspoons, see how that's heaping? You just slough it right off the top. Very important because we want exact measurements. quarter teaspoon of water in one fair swoop. Stir until you have a clumpy consistency. That's right, clumpy. Yes, we are gonna have a clumpy escapade and that is okay, okay? Just go with it, just go with the flow. Part of the process. Wow, that was quick, that got it. Okay, I'm gonna get my other spoon. Switching spoons. All right, so now that we have this together, we want to put in some of our milk. Now this is whole milk straight from the farm and it's 1.5 tablespoons, okay? We're going to put this in little by little, okay? Not the whole thing. Good. Now this milk is going to give us our creamy um, texture and consistency, but this milk has lactic acid in it which acts as our liquid exfoliator, okay? Natural exfoliant. It softens skin and helps to slough off those dead skin cells. Now, if you saw my dry brushing video for the body, you would know that the body sheds up to one million cells in a day. What? That's right, in the day, okay? So if you don't exfoliate, start now. And this mask is going to, it's a mildly exfoliating mask. It's mild, but it's good enough. It's fine. It helps you not to go overboard, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little more milk here. Very 
very nice. You see that how the consistency just changed? When you have this consistency, then we're gonna start with the other ingredients, okay? And come back to the milk later. But this is absolutely beautiful, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in pumpkin seed oil and also safflower oil. And that is one eighth of a teaspoon each. Okay, so let's just pour that in. Okay, let me just mix that in. Oh, that's nice. And the thing about the pumpkin seed oil is the pumpkin seed oil has vitamin A in it, among so many other things. It has beta carotene in it. And uh, that pumpkin also acts as an exfoliant, but also it's a penetrating oil. But mostly what's penetrating is the safflower oil. The safflower oil is a very penetrating oil and is blessed with linoleic and oleic acid, which is marvelous for your skin. So when you want that shine and that softness and smoothness. Okay. Next we have raw honey. Half a teaspoon that is. Let's go. Very well. Beautiful. Now keep in mind that this is going to thicken. We're going to put it in the fridge and it's going to thicken. Okay, so don't worry about if it's watery or whatever the case may be. It's totally beautiful the way it is. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna put it in a container. Now look at this thing of beauty. You see the consistency? It's so nice. Okay, so it's a little runny right now. We're going to put it in the fridge and it's going to thicken right up. There it is. Let's check it out. Look at how thick it is. Mm, mm, mm. Now just look how creamy and smooth it is. Amazing. Didn't I tell you it would thicken up? Yes. Now there are two full masks in there that should cover the whole face, the neck, and the decollete. After being made, the mask will last approximately two weeks refrigerated. Now why don't we check out the scheduling and the frequency on how often we're going to use the mask. Take a look at this. Now, as you can see, for regular use, use the mask every other day for the best results in you reaching your goals. Whether it be brightening hyperpigmentation, tightening pores, or for soft, smooth skin. For sensitive skin, use the mask with two days rest following each application to give yourself a break and test the waters. Always listen to your body. If at any time you feel like your skin needs a break, break for two or three days, then hop back in as your body dictates. And if you feel that in the future you'd like to follow the regular use schedule, then please do so. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Now make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up 
subscribe, share, and leave your comment below. Thanks so much for your support, and I hope you love the recipe just as much as I do. Until next video, bye-bye.